Hello guys, uh, welcome to this video. Uh, today I'm here to explain you how to connect yourself into your SpyBot. Um, so, first I will explain what SpyBot is in the and what we have out of the box and how to do it then. So, um, SpyBot is a set uh, from Lego made in 2002. Uh, it was a very cool set. Um, you could have four sets: uh, purple, red, blue, green one. And you have here um, out of the box the, the set. I've not pulled it yet um, because I wanted to test it, and it worked. So stay tuned. Uh, then you have uh, in the box you have CG cable, the spy bot, and a remote that you could play with, uh, like a little uh, robot. Uh, it was a very cool set uh, back then. And uh, like I mentioned, it's from 2002, so it's 20 years old. Uh, so you might get into some problems trying to connect it to your computer. Um, so, uh, first of all, um, you got, we got the CD, it's fine. Then we got the SpyBot. As you can see back then, uh, on the back, we got some uh, um, lightning, um, lightning uh, pins connector. Uh, it's female, because uh, for Lego, I think they still use the uh, same techniques. Um, on in mindstorms, they use lights to communicate. So, yeah, it's from Lego. So you need this cable that they give you in the box, and this connector goes in here, and it's showing some lights. Uh, so without it, you're done. Okay, so get sure you got one that works properly that's not yeah it's good and for for those are who are too young uh, we still are uh, we already have a problem here it's an hardware issue because back then 20 years ago we didn't have those okay those are type a USB uh, so what did we have back then? We had those. Those, this is the ancestor of type A USB. It is RS232. So yeah, it's not VGA cable, watch out. It's uh, uh, RS232. So what you need to have uh, before continuing, is this an adapter, adapter type A connecting to your computer to uh, RS232 mail. It doesn't matter if the screw are here, it worked perfectly fine uh, for me because yeah, you get screw here's law here and here's here's too, but it doesn't matter, so it's pretty good. Uh, if it comes with a driver, make sure to install it. You will need it, okay? Um, and something else inside it is that you need uh, classic batteries, okay? Not rechargeable batteries, because re rechargeable batteries are 1.2 volts. We need 1.5 volts, because uh, it gives some more punch and uh, it's to avoid um, damaging the secret box inside, okay? It's 20 years old, so you don't want to uh, <laughs> to damage it, okay? Uh, I mean, those are really fascinating. I mean, uh, look at this. Back then, we could do that. That's For me, it's still very, a very good set. You, could, you have levers uh, here, you got a um, light sensor, uh, you got um, um, turn on and off function, playability here, 
we can still uh, shoot from here with a, a light that should here because uh, yeah our lights are uh, redirect we got a motor and yeah you get different sets so for me, for me it's like a very good set back then here you got all other four you can uh, build so yeah uh, so now um, the problem is like I uh, mentioned it's to connect so we fixed the hardware issue uh, right here but like I mentioned in the playset you need uh, you get the manual inside the CD-ROM so to build it you need this or you can find it on the internet now but back then you needed one of those um, and to play with it uh, I'm with I mean uh, missions because it had some missions wh where you could play alone on mission uh, with one player one spy bot two um, two spy bots or on two, two four spy bots it's I mean it's it was very good but uh, you need you need to connect it uh, use a spy bot to your computer uh, but for those uh, those who already tried you can't use it on Windows 10 it will crash and yeah it's no good uh, so each time you press the mission buttons crash so you can't do anything with it uh, Easier to connect it to your PC to watch the levels uh, going up. So uh, yeah, it's quite sad. Um, but I've got a solution. So yeah, uh, we're gonna go on the computer right now. And what you will need to do is to install a virtual machine. Uh, I'm using Oracle VM Virtual Box. It worked perfectly fine for me. Uh, you need Windows XP. Ins uh, install it. So I, I won't make a, a tutorial. Uh, you can find a, a better one on the internet uh, to show you how to install a Windows XP on the Oracle VM Virtual Box. And what you will need here, so you need the SpyBot, the CD-ROM, or the ISO if you don't have the CD-ROM. Um, so you will need to stick it on the USB and get good with that because, yeah. Uh, the SpyBot is cable. The air is a reference here. Type A to RS232. You can buy a cheap one on Amazon. I mean, don't ship, don't ship it too much, but yeah, get a, a, at least a good one install the drivers and like i said like i mentioned before don't rechargeable batteries okay you need 1.5 volts you need virtual box uh, windows xp still installed and yeah you go through it uh, like uh, you will install uh, windows uh, 10 and you will need to add some settings um, sorry, because it's in French. So you will need to add the your uh, CD-ROM reader, and you will need to activate those ports here. And you need to um, add here uh, the um, the uh, RS232 uh, cable. Once you're done, you go on Win you launch it. So you will go on uh, on Windows 10. So it's launching. It will pre be pretty fast. You got if you got a good computer. So here I am. I I've already um, installed um, installed uh, Spybotics. So good here. Uh, as you can see, you got the uh, CD-ROM. So if I go here and uh, yeah, I can inject my CD-ROM here. So it's working perfectly fine. 
so you will need to install Spybotics here, and then I'm launching it. So I'm skipping it. Ah, agent. Yeah, I'm here. So first thing you need to do, um, you can build it. So we will close it again because it's working. Okay, it's fine. Uh, so you take you take this cable, uh, the type A to Two, uh, three, two, uh, and you uh, you will hear something. Here we go. So we've heard Windows 10 recognizing um, the, the cable, and then uh, Windows XP uh, recognizing the cable. So it's good. Then we cable the the two address two three two. So, can disconnect that, and we got this one. This little boy goes behind the spy bot. So, here we go. The setup will looks like this. Turn on your spy bot. So it's already level three, and it should go like this. And watch at the back of uh, the spy bot. Here you will see the lights coming. So I'm launching again the CD ROM, uh, the, the game. Three, two, one. Okay. Ah, agent, you're back. It appears you didn't and quite complete phase it's... one construction of your spy yeah, yeah, yeah. And here we see the lights. So that means it's communicating to your computer. And as you can see on the screen, here it's recognized. Um, click here. Accessing Spybot You can scans. change the name. You can uh, you can change so the so, so different uh, the just the body. But yeah, let's let's go here. You can check so the security level. Uh, that means uh, your um, your um, level uh, of the, the spy bot. And uh, yeah, don't touch it, or you will lose connection. And uh, yeah, you don't want that. And we're gonna test the. Um, sorry, I my finger. We're gonna test the default program. So if I'm doing it like this. For example, I've got this setting. Uh, the light sensor is activating because I've got a mission on it. So I'm gonna end the mission. I'm gonna click on default program. Boop. And we go, download succeeded. So, okay. Now if I press now, play button. Hey, it's all good. So we're done. We're done, actually. So I can go now to the mission. Accessing mission map. La laser ax. Laser beam. Yes. So here we go. Accessing mission board. And now we can click here. Then here area. Accessing download. And click here to download the mission. So it's still communicating. So don't touch anything, don't disconnect anything, just wait. It's funny because we can see the infrared from the eyes, but you can see it from the, the camera, so it's nice. You've heard a little sound. Gist by but mission program successful, successfully downloaded. And then press here. And it's mission again. So that will be all for me. Uh, we can uh, we can still discuss uh, spy bots in the comments if you want. I hope it helps you a lot. I mean, I didn't trust myself uh, with it at first, but hey, if you don't try it, it's ne it never gonna work. So hope you like it. Uh, if you got any question, any problem, um, I won't be able to uh, to help you too much, but I, I still can try. So you can try so yeah
Thanks for watching. See you next time.